Honorable Senators. Ulishudiwa mshike mshike wakati wa uchaguzi wa speaker wa bunge la seneti. Maseneta kutoka mrengo wa zimeo kiongozo na seneta Homa Bay Moses Kajuang wakitaka karani wa bunge hilo Jeremiah Nyegenye kwairisha zoezi hilo. We cannot as a house do things unprocedurally, trample on the rights of our women and youth simply because the IBC decided to be lazy, simply because the IBC decided to run away from their duty. And you have seen the kind of mess the IBC has brought uh, into this country. So let the foundation of this Senate, which some of us have sat in for quite some time, not be a foundation of impunity, not be a foundation of denying the rights of our women and youth. And Mr. Clark, it would be important that you rule on that. And my prayer would be that this exercise and this order be suspended until everyone has been given an opportunity to participate in the rightful manner. Kulingana na Kajuang, masineta wateule walifa kujumuishwa katika kinyanganyiro cha naibu speaker. Mr. Clark, it is like you wanting to vote for whoever you want to vote and you are denied that opportunity. The constitution is quite clear on that matter. So, so Mr. Clark, for me to finalize on my submissions, I would like to beseech you to suspend this, in, uh, this matter for now until the time that everyone who has been elected, who has been given an opportunity, who has been sworn in, can be given an opportunity to present their papers. There is no way you can disfranchise those, uh, those, uh, those elected senators. Hata hivyo ombilao halikukubaliwa na karani wa bunge la seneti Jeremanye Genye wa muzi ambao lisababisha maseneta wa azimio kususia uchaguzi huo na hata kuondoka katika kikao cha bunge la seneti. We have decided not to participate in certain processes that are currently going on in that house for the following reasons. Number one, we have raised serious objections to the clerk who is acting as speaker today on the marginalization and disenfranchisement of nominated senators. As you are aware, nominated senators were gazetted only yesterday in the evening and expected to come to the Senate today to elect a speaker and a deputy speaker. Nominated senators are eligible to run as deputy speakers. And the late gazettement of nominated speakers by the IBC points to um, a, a pattern of ensuring that these 20 who largely represent women, youth, and persons with disability are denied their right to participate in the elections in the House today. Senator wa County ya Nairobi Edwin Sifuna akisema kuwa hawa kupokia stakabadhi sahihi za waniaji zikiwemo tawasifu kazi ilikuwa piga msasa. One of the things that has also uh, offended us badly as senators is that uh, we are being provided with the, the curriculum vitae of these people at this particular you know, moment in time when we are supposed to actually be making that decision on who to elect as the Speaker of the Senate. The problems that have been pointed out by my senior, Okongo Mogeni, with that procedure is that even we who went through the elections had been vetted properly to ensure that we have the proper documentation and qualifications to run for the positions that we were running, to, uh, running for. So, uh, for instance, uh, Senator Mogeni has asked the question, have we been supplied with the integrity documentation of these people who want to be uh, speakers of, uh, of, uh, of, 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 of the assembly? Uh, young people looking for jobs out there are even asked to produce letters of, uh, uh, from their chiefs, letters from the ESCC, letters from the police, uh, certificates of good conduct. But here, somebody who's going to hold a very serious constitutional office cannot dare to produce a certificate from the ESCC showing that he is morally fit to hold the office that he's looking for. Mapema mungano wazimio ulipata pigo baada ya mgombea wake kalonzo msioka kujiondoa kutoka kinyanga nyiro hicho nyegenye akisema kwamba ofisi yake ilikuwa imepokea barua asubuhi siku ya alamisi kutoka kwa kalonzo akiondoa azma yake maseneta katika muungano wa azimio siku ya jumatano walikuwa wameafikia kwa kauli moja kumunga mkono kalonzo kwa wadhifa wa speaker wa bunge la seneti it is best uh, better to be defeated in honor than to lose uh, you know to, than to win uh, with uh, fraud so we will have no part of it. We know that uh, to be a speaker who commands the respect of all the senators, you at least have to achieve the threshold of uh, two-thirds 
of the members. That is what the, the standing orders and the constitution require. So he is going to be an, a minority speaker, so to speak, because he will not get the number of senators that he set in order to command the sort of respect that a speaker of a house as honorable as this should command. Onyaji wa kiticha speaker na naibu speaker katika bunge la kitaifa na lilela seneti walitakiwa kuwasilisha maombi yao ya kazi kufikia jumatatu September 5. Davis Mberia, Runinga ya Ebru.